Porphyria's Lover by Robert Browning Read for LibriVox.org by Rosalind Wills of Silver Spring, Maryland on August 19, 2006 The rain set early tonight. The sullen wind was soon awake. It tore the elm tops down for spite and did its worst to vex the lake. I listened with heart fit to break. When glided in Porphyria, straight she shut the cold out and the storm, and kneeled and made the cheerless grate blaze up and all the cottage warm. Which done, she rose, and from her form withdrew the dripping cloak and shawl, and laid her soiled gloves by, untied her hat, and let the damp hair fall. At last she sat down by my side and called me. When no voice replied, she put her arm about my waist, and made her smooth white shoulder bare, and all her yellow hair displaced, and stooping made my cheek lie there, and spread o'er all her yellow hair, murmuring how she loved me, she too weak for all her heart's endeavour to set its struggling passion free from pride, and vainer ties to sever, and give herself to me for ever. But passion sometimes would prevail, nor could to-night's gay feast restrain a sudden thought of one so pale for love of her, and all in vain, so she was come through wind and rain. Be sure I looked up at her eyes, happy and proud, at last I knew Porphyria worshipped me. Surprise made my heart swell, and still it grew while I debated what to do. That moment she was mine, mine fair, perfectly pure and good. I found a thing to do, and all her hair in one long yellow string I wound, three times her little throat around, and strangled her. No pain felt she. I am quite sure she felt no pain. As a shut bud that holds a bee, I warily oped her lids, again laughed the blue eyes without a stain, and I untightened next the tress about her neck, her cheek once more blushed bright beneath my burning kiss. I propped her head up as before, only this time my shoulder bore her head, which droops upon it still. The smiling, rosy little head, so glad it has its utmost will, that all it scorned at once is fled, and I its love am gained instead. Porphyria's love, she guessed not how, her darling one wish would be heard. And thus we sit together now, and all night long we have not stirred, and yet God has not said a word. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.